How's it going guys? NBG here and I've been getting a lot of questions over the uh, few years that I've been doing this whole YouTube thing as to how I do it basically. I mean it's nothing, first of all it's nothing new. Um, a lot of people do it this way. Uh, so how do I record, how do I record my voice, how do I piece it all together and edit it together and how do I upload it? Are questions that I've been collectively getting over the two years I've been doing this. So. Uh, one of the most important things about recording gameplays is obviously recording the gameplay. So you need a program if you're on a computer, which is what I'm using now. Um, I use a program called Fraps. And it is taking a while to... There we go. So here's Fraps. Um, basically with Fraps, it's a, you press one button and it starts recording whatever's on the screen, whatever application is on the screen. It won't record the desktop, but it will record, you know, whatever game you have up. So, you know, with Fraps, you have where you want the stuff to be saved, and uh, the frames that it records, the frame rate. Uh, just pick 30. Anything above that with YouTube is pointless because YouTube, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is 20 frames per second, although. Maybe it's 30. I'm not sure. And then half size and full size is up to you. Half, you know, it's obviously like HD quality. Full size would be the size of the screen. Half size would be half of the screen. But notice how small the video player is on YouTube. All right, so you would be losing quality. Yes, picking half size, but you're saving yourself in hard drive space. Now, Fraps makes these files that are huge, like. I believe with certain games, I know with Minecraft it's 10 minutes is like almost 4 gigabytes on half size. Skyrim it's like 5 minutes is almost 4 gigabytes, it's ridiculous. So that is, uh, that's that. So s full size is just nuts. So I stuck with half size and 30 frames per second and that's what all my videos are on right now. And then you can select which key while you're in game, you press that key and it'll start recording. So that's how you record your gameplay. And uh, with your voice, I am using Audacity. It's a free program. You just uh, you know plug in your mic, and you um, right here this little microphone. Just drop down menu. You click on that, and it selects which mic you want to pick, and then you record your voice. I have it on stereo right now. Uh, mono is obviously one. Um, yeah, not much to that. So when you're done, you hit stop right here, and then file and export. And you pick where you want to export it to. And now you're all done. You have your gameplay. You have your audio for your voice. Uh, Fraps records the in-game audio. So don't worry about that. Uh, to answer your question as to what I'm recording with, for, like to record the desktop, I'm using Camtasia. Um, not, not a free program. Although there's ways to get it free, but uh, be honest about it. <laughs> So, what I usually use to edit my videos is called Sony Vegas. And at first it seems very intricate and uh, confusing. Trust me, when I first downloaded this I was like, what am I looking at here? Um, this is your video track. You put your videos in here, and then you have to sync your audio in there as well. I don't think I actually have any... Oh yeah, I do have examples. Okay, so here's my Machinima pre-roll thing. So as you can see, this is your video track. Here's the audio down here, and here is the video. With up here, you know, you could change like the the size of the picture, and uh, so Control Z. So that, and now let's just pretend this is my commentary. It's just a Skype call I had with one of the Machinima people. Let's pretend this is my commentary for my gameplay. So you put this down here, and then this is the hard part. This is all on you now. You need to zoom in, and you need to sync your audio with the gameplay. Like, when I'm swinging my sword at a dragon, you know, I'll usually make, like, a weird noise because I'm in the moment, you know. <laughs> so, you know, you have to line that up when your sword's swinging and when you're you're making the grunt you know so that's usually the hardest part about video editing um i mess it up sometimes i'm not gonna lie we all have issues but uh 
takes a lot of patience and when you're all done first of all save your file obviously and then render now rendering is the um, the important part because what some people get are these black bars right here and uh, the reason you're getting those black bars if you're playing a game that's not in widescreen it's in standard def so you know these bars are off I don't even know if I could do it I'm trying to think can I resize it to make like an example I doubt it and you guys know what I mean the black bars on the side or maybe on the tops that means you're playing in a weird resolution um, so this pre-roll with Machinima was recorded in 1280 by 720 which means it goes up to 720p um, black bars means that it would be would it be 960 by 720 I believe would be the uh, width so you want to change the width so what you're going to want to do um, this is actually what I did in my old Oblivion stuff it was recorded in standard def but I beefed it up to HD so you're gonna undo maintain aspect ratio and disable resample okay then you click on this right here and then you could change the size of everything you know you can do whatever you want Hello. to get rid of the uh, the stupid black bars that we all despise and uh, that's not rendering though that is just editing now rendering there's these templates down here okay make your custom one go to custom YouTube and here are the uh, settings that you're going to want to pick 30 frames per second 1280 by 720 Windows Media Video sharpest you know that's that's pretty much it best quality that is what you're going to want everything to be at and then you just uh, render it out oh yeah and here save as type make it WMV uh, AVI files are huge don't don't ever save in AVI files they're ridiculously huge WMV is lower I'm not sure if you have Mac I don't know because Windows Media video obviously wouldn't be on Mac I'd imagine right so anyways that's that uh, I think I covered everything like I said you just open up uh, program um, login and fraps well here's fraps the yellow numbers how to get that you'd go to actually I never did this let's see hmm. frame per second just click on FPS and where on the screen you want it to be see now the frames per second are there uh, frames per second are there frames per second um, a video is made of many many pictures flickering at a very high rate I guess or refreshing so as you could oh I just exited out of fraps but here's another thing I have I'll make a separate video for what this is um videos per se or frames per second is how many pictures you're seeing every second and the higher end computer you have obviously the more frames per second uh anything above 60 is the sought out thing for a PC game actually any gaming really 60 is the preferred frame rate and uh, with video rendering, when you file render, it takes a while. You know, HD videos and your voice, you know, it takes a while. It's gigabytes of stuff it has to process. So the faster processor you have, the better. I have a quad core 4.2 gigahertz. Uh, it's water cooled AMD Phenom 2. Uh, you know, that's a decent one, but, you know, obviously, the more you spend on your processor, you know, faster videos are render, and SSDs are always nice to have too. So, you know, a lot goes into it. You don't need a killer computer to do this stuff, though. Obviously, recording gameplays you do, but if you're using like an HD PVR for console gameplays, and you just use your computer for recording your voice and rendering videos, I did it. Uh, I did all my rendering, all my rendering. If you guys have been with my channel, I did an Oblivion walkthrough, 400 plus videos worth of rendering on a laptop dual core at 2.0 gigahertz all right it's an intel and spirion 1545 with ddr2 memory all right so you don't need a killer computer to render but obviously the faster the computer the less time it takes to render uh but that's pretty much it guys i uh, hope this helped if you have any questions please leave a comment i will answer and uh hope to see you guys soon peace out